bitches they'll they'll really like take that like don't 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 they don't, they don't, they don't take that shit lightly oh fuck nigga your name and then be like and then she'll be like oh that's a nice name some some but be like look yeah i was just really up here to get your number some shit like because i like i know ah! Yo, what's good, y'all? It's Young Seiko back with another Bro Talks EP2. Before I actually lay this shit down, I'm gonna hit y'all niggas with some rules and regulations that I go by. That y'all niggas need to go by too. Even though y'all niggas ain't shit, you still gotta be respectful, bro. So this is it right here. Rule number one, no means no. If she doesn't wanna do anything with you, maybe she's just not ready or you just not the one. Hey, it's tough, but you gotta skedaddle, bro. No means no, we not. We not doing, we don't do that shit, bro. Without her, without her permission, don't do it, bro. Don't, don't do it. It don't hurt the ass. Rule number two, we don't put our hands on females. That's a big no-no, bro. I don't play about that shit, bro. That shit's weak. Don't put your hands on a female. That's, that's corny. Rule number three, we never call a female out of her name. Even though I be saying bitch a hoe in the video, best believe I'm the most respectful nigga you'll ever meet. I never call a girl out of her name. Uh, what's rule number four? Oh, rule number four? Don't tell a girl you love her if you really don't mean it, bro. They don't play about that shit, and, like, girls, they really get attached if you say that. So, don't say that shit if you don't mean it, bro. But without further ado, let's get into it. Gang. Bro Talks EP2, Bro Talks Episode 2. This episode is about how to attract them hoes. Now, first of all, I just want to thank you for clicking on this video, and you're welcome in advance for the game I'm about to put you on, all right? But uh, first things first, before we get into this shit, I'm Dr. Seiko Suave. If you didn't know, I have a PhD in Hoology and Asthmatology from Ain't Shit University, uh, located in Nigafornia Beach. But uh, that's enough about me. Just know I'm a reliable source when it comes to this shit. My jersey's going up in the rafters. I am retiring. I'm officially retiring. Uh, I know she watching this video part because she, she claims she got my notifications and shit on. But just know, baby, you the shit, so I'm not gonna fuck it up. You know, I got love for you. My love is only for you. But uh, let's get into this shit. All right, so first things first, you wanna attract the hoes, right? But in order for you to attract the hoes, my nigga, you gotta make a roster. Like, when I say roster, I'm talking about, yes, like a, like a basketball roster or some shit. Like, you gotta go through recruiting. You gotta go through recruiting, scouting. That you gotta put them in conditioning. That you gotta... uh try them out see if they can make the team some bitches gonna get cut from the team some bitches not even gonna get to make it to conditioning they just gonna they're not gonna pass the eye test you're not even gonna let them bring the physical in bro it's just it is what it is and then you know you got the starters the star players the uh bench warmers you know the water girls uh, you know what i'm saying like you, you gotta have a roster but best believe on this team this girl's not even on the team this is one girl you gotta have on your side bro this one girl right here, she's not on the team. She is not one of your hoes. This girl I'm about to tell you, she is your she is your ride or die. She is your loyal. She's the loyalest person you know. And she, you know, she's with the shits, bro. Like, she's the shit. This girl right here I'm telling you about is your quote-unquote best friend, all right? Now, we all got that one girl who be like, best friend. Oh, that's my best friend. That's my best friend. You know, you post a snap, she's swiping up on your shit. You posting a picture on Instagram, she liking your, she liking your picture. She, she dropping a comment on your shit. That's your best friend. The girl that, you know, she call your best friend. And even if she got a man, keep her on the side, bro, because she's like the loyalist person on the team. Like, she's really, she's the best, like, she's the, she's the shit, bro. Pr I promise you, just, just watch, just watch. Now, enough of the, you know, your best friend shit. Just keep, just remember what I said. Keep her on the side. Now, we we got to attract the hoes. So when you looking at a girl, what's the first thing you look at? It may be her teeth, her nails, her hair, her, I mean, a clearly face. You know, you may look at her ass, her tatarinas. If she thick, if she can dress, like, you know, she got to pass the eye test. If she smell good, all that shit. With girls, it's the same exact thing. When it comes to us niggas, they look at the same shit. They look at uh, they look at our face first of all, but they don't really. Mm, I'm not even gonna touch that one. But you gotta, you know, make sure you brush your teeth, my nigga. Make sure your teeth nice, nice and white. Take care of your teeth. Exfoliate your skin. When I say exfoliate your skin, I mean you know, make sure you got good skin. Drink water. You want to drink water so you can have clear, glowing skin. And when it's time for you to get your dick sucked, your dick don't taste like acid juice, my nigga. All right? You don't want that. You don't want your shit to taste like acid, bro. You want your you want your shit to taste good, cause you, 
you want your drink pine that you know what? I'm gonna get y'all right but you want to make sure you know make sure you exfoliate your skin brush your teeth make sure you always got a nice haircut keep your nails cut bro don't have them long ass nails with dirt and shut them they don't no 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 that's just dirty have your nails done I'm not saying I'm done but have them you know cut uh, another part it's just personal hygiene make sure you know your, your pubes is trimmed and shit just in case you know what I'm saying because that hair holds odors uh, what else you know look at look nice dress nice you know I ain't saying you gotta be the drippiest but you know you know look up the part uh, make sure you always got cologne on and bro I'm gonna tell you this right now smelling good does not have a gender bro so if you got like you know dove extra love like you know fruits and berries and you know shea butter cocoa butter all that shit bro put it on bro girls don't they don't mind a nigga smelling good i'm telling you it bro smelling good does not have a gender it does not say oh this smells is only for girls nah bro my dad used to keep women's lotion on him because and i always used to think this nigga was gay i mean I, yeah that's my dad and i'm like yo what's up with this nigga and i was a young nigga so i'm saying like yo what's good with you find out i find out later on in my years i see why he's doing it, you know so in order to get the hose, you gotta smell like him. You know, you gotta smell like him. If you ain't got no cologne, I mean, if he ain't had no cologne on, he was he was hitting himself with that little Bath and Body Works lotion. But uh, yeah, you know, you wanna do all that shit. Personal hygiene is a must. Personal hygiene is a must because you have to pass the eye test as well. And if you tall and you ain't getting no bitches, bruh, what's good with you? Cause who, all the hoes like tall niggas for some reason, bro. Just niggas like thick bitches, hoes like tall niggas. It is what it is, but hey. But uh, make sure you know you look your your hygiene is good and shit. Now, when your hygiene is good and your confidence is booming, and you see a shorty at the mall at Six Flags or some shit, I'm gonna tell you what I do. When I used to talk to girls, I'm from New Jersey, so I got a like a up north accent when I like put it on. I don't usually do it because I'm living like down south right now. And them niggas they be. Oh, you're you're from up north. Say suck my dick or something. I'm like, like nigga, fuck out of here. So like, when I'm talking to a girl, I'll be like, I put on my up north accent. I don't know why I do it. It just naturally happens. So if you from up north, you already you 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 got a bonus because bitches love them New York up north accents and shit. But uh, when you talk to a girl, make sure you are talking from your chest. Don't talk from your throat. I'm talking from my throat right now because when I only talk from my chest when I'm like talking to like like to somebody I don't know or to like a girl or like if i'm like in the professional environment or some shit i only talk from my throat because i feel like my natural voice is like kind of boring and monotone so i'll use my other voice but uh what else i got for y'all niggas oh yeah so when you approaching a girl if she's looking at you look at her too don't look away don't look somewhere else look her in her eyes bro that shit turns girls on everything with girls is all mind games so you really have to get in their head first i'm not saying get in their head in the bad way but girls it's like they it's hard to explain, but like, if you a nigga, like, you know what I'm talking about. And if a girl watching, you know what I'm talking about. Make sure you always look in the girl in her eyes. You kind of want to make her like weak, like to where she's like, she's kind of like shy because it's like, wow, he's looking me in my eyes. It's like you looking to our soul and shit. So wait, make sure when you like approaching her, you look at her in her eyes. Have a little smirk on your face or some shit. And then this is what I usually do. I'll usually start the comment. I'll usually compliment. Always compliment first. I'll either talk about her hair or her nails. So I'll walk up to her and I'll be like, uh, your, your nails look nice, your hair look nice, you look good. And she'll be like, oh, thank you, blah, blah, blah. And I'll be like, no problem, what's your name? She'll be like, oh, my name's Jaden, woo do woo And I'll be like, no, that's okay. And she'll be like, oh, my name's Jaden, what about you? And I'll be like, my name's Seiko, you know what I'm saying? And then she'll be like, oh, okay. And then be like, but yeah, you know, I'll just come up here to let you know you look nice. And if I can get your number or something so we can uh, get to know each other. It's that easy. She'll either say yes or no. She say no. What did I tell y'all niggas? If she say no, it's her loss. If she don't want to give you her number, it's her loss. You was about to... Uh, it, it's her loss, bro. But uh, it's really easy. Like, if you really go... It's, it's nothing to it. Especially if she's pretty as fuck. She's, she's already going to know she's pretty as fuck. So you got to be... She's going to be like, oh, he's brave because I'm pretty as hell. And he want, he's coming up to talk to me knowing, you know, I'm pretty as hell. So he might think I might turn him down and shit. It's just... It's just courage, confidence, bravery, you know, shit like that, bro. Just have a good character. Like, you know, like I told you, practice that shit. The more girls you talk to, the more natural it will be. Simple as that. Um, what else I got for y'all niggas? Hmm. Make sure when you're talking to her, look in her eyes, like I said. Make sure your breath don't smell bad, bro. Like, keep some gum on you. Make sure you brush your tongue and shit. If your tongue white, fix that, bro. Get a tongue scraper. Start brushing your tongue and shit. Handle Listerine, keeping gum and mints on you and shit. 
what else? Um, I'm really, I, I really freestyle this shit, but I don't write it down or nothing. Hmm. I think I covered most of the bases. Oh, when you're talking to a girl and like you don't know it, bro, make sure it's in and out. You don't want to sit there and talk to a girl like to where you, you know, fuck up your chances. You know, it's in and out. I told you what to say. I gave you the blueprint. If you don't want to say that exactly, you know, just, just keep it around that area. You know, give her a compliment. She's going to say thank you. Ask her how she's doing or, you know, she looks good and all that shit. And then she'll, you know, tell you how she's doing. You know, all that other shit. Don't ask her, you know, what she's doing later on today. Don't do it. Well, when you get her number, we'll ask her, all right? So you want to compliment her first. Then ask her what her name is. Then you want to leave. You want to get her number. And then, you know what I'm saying? You got her number. Now, when you get her number, don't text her right away. Don't text her right away. What I used to do was I used to wait a whole day. I would text her like the next morning or like next afternoon or some shit. I wouldn't text her right then and there or that later that night. I will text her like in the afternoon. Because it's like, damn, I get this nigga my number. Did he lose my number or some shit? Does he not want to talk to me? Like, why he asked for my number? You're not going to text me. Shit like that, bro. You really got to get in these girls' heads. Also, um, oh, also, bro, make sure when you texting a girl, you know, I'm going to get y'all niggas right. I'm going to tell y'all niggas in the next video, like, how to keep a conversation going and shit. But, bro, honestly, it's really nothing to it. I, that's it for the video, really. Next video is going to be how to keep your hoes. Then the video after that, I think I'm going to do how to lose your virginity. How to, you know, do some freaky shit with a girl. You know, with her permission, of course. And, uh, I think that's about it. If y'all niggas fucking with this shit, let me know down in the comment section below. If y'all not fucking with it... Hey, just don't watch it, bro. Because there's some niggas out here that really need help. Like, they don't got no advice. They don't got nobody to talk to. So, I'm going to help them out. I mean, I'm going to give y'all niggas these 2K bangers regardless. But I'm going to help these niggas out over here. If y'all niggas like the series, y'all fucking with it, let me know. Like the video. And uh, if you got any questions, like, DM me on Instagram or some shit. I'll say DM me on Twitter, but I'm not on Twitter right now. Hit me up on Instagram. Or you can leave a comment on my old videos. And I'll help you out. Signing out, gang. Okay.